What's going on everyone? This is the Mac Roberts back again with another NBA 2K21 My Player Builder video. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at the best Rip Hamilton build. Now, Richard Hamilton was a bucket in the vein of Ray Allen. Curiously, they both went to UConn and the year after Allen declared for the draft, Hamilton started his freshman year. Hamilton was a better defender though and Allen was a better shooter. Hamilton's winning days also started in college, winning UConn their first NCAA championship in 1999 and being named the final four most outstanding player. He then got drafted by the Wizards to play with the coming out of his prime Mitch Richmond and Juwan Howard in his final few seasons there. And then he paired with a freshly unretired old man Michael Jordan for a season before being traded to the Pistons for Jerry Stackhouse. The team already had Ben Wallace and Tayshaun Prince who they had drafted that season and Chauncey Billups also signed that season as well. Rip played every game that season and was instrumental in that team making it to the Eastern Conference Finals. Midway through the 04 season, the Pistons also acquired Rasheed Wallace, and the core of the Pistons for the next five seasons was complete. The 04 Pistons shocked the Lakers and won the NBA championship, and the Pistons either made a finals or Eastern Conference Finals run in each of the next four seasons. Hamilton went to three straight All-Star games and played with the Pistons until 2011 before signing with the Bulls, intending to be the last piece for Derrick Rose's Bulls. However, like Rose, he was riddled with injuries and only played in two seasons before retiring. So, without further ado, let's get into the build. Position is going to be shooting guard, hand in this doesn't matter, jersey number also doesn't matter, I just chose 32, because that's the number he wore for his entire career. For the pie chart, we're going to go with the green and red half and half pie chart. And for the physical profile, we're going to go with the speed and vertical physical profile. Now for the attributes, you're going to bring your close shot up to an 84. Your driving layup up to a 77, your driving dunk up to a 73, and your post hook up to a 73. And that's gonna give you six finishing badges. For shooting, you're gonna bring your mid range shot up to an 83, your three point shot up to an 80, your free throw up to an 88, and your post fade up to a 67. And that's gonna give you 19 shooting badges. For playmaking, you're gonna bring your pass accuracy up to a 78 and your ball handling up to a 75, and that's gonna give you 10 playmaking badges. Lastly, for defense and rebounding, you're gonna bring your interior defense up to a 56, your perimeter defense up to an 85, your lateral quickness up to an 85, your steal up to a 79, and you're gonna bring your defensive rebounding up to a 46, and that's gonna give you 11 defense and rebounding badges. So six finishing, 19 shooting, 10 playmaking, and 11 defense and rebounding badges is a total of 46 badges. Body shape doesn't really matter. I'm just going to go with define. Height is going to be 6'5". For the weight, we're going to go with 185 pounds. That was his actual weight. And for the wingspan, we're going to go with 78.8 inches. So at 99 overall, you're going to have a close shot of 86, an 81 driving layup, a 76 driving dunk, and a 76 post hook. For your shooting stats, you're gonna have an 89 mid-range shot, an 86 three-point shot, a 92 free throw, and a 72 post fade. For your playmaking, you're gonna have an 82 pass accuracy, an 80 ball handle, so you do get the pro dribble moves. And for your defense and rebounding, you're gonna have a 56 interior defense, an 88 perimeter defense, an 88 lateral quickness, an 81 steal, and a 49 defensive rebound. For your physicals, at 99 overall with the gym rat badge, you're gonna have a 92 speed, a 91 acceleration, a 91 vertical, and a 55 strength. For the takeover, I would either go with the spot up shooter takeover or the lockdown defender takeover. It's completely up to you. I'm just gonna go with the sharp takeover. And the build is complete and you have built a two-way sharpshooter, shades of Richard Hamilton, Victor Oladipo, and Bradley Beal. Now for your badges, for your finishing badges, you're gonna put contact finisher on gold, and so they your finisher on gold. For your shooting badges, you're gonna put catch and shoot on gold, clutch shooter on silver, corner specialist on gold, dead eye on gold, green machine on silver, hot start on gold, and hot zone hunter on gold. For your playmaking badges, you're gonna put break starter on silver, space creator on gold, stop and go on gold, and unpluckable on silver. And for your defense and rebounding badges, you're gonna put clamps on gold, Interceptor on silver, off ball pass on gold, and pick dodger on gold. 
All right, everyone, this has been the best Rip Hamilton build. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell icon, and join the Penny Face Squad. That'd be greatly appreciated. It helps out the channel overall, and you'll also be kept up with everything we do on the channel, so you don't want to miss any of that. Drop a comment below and let me know what you thought of the build. I'm taking requests, so if you have a build that you want to see me make, let me know in the comment section below, and I'll try to make that build for you. I'm making builds every single day for next gen. Uh, I'm not doing current gen so much anymore, but I'll do it for a quest. So if you have a current gen build that you want to see me make, let me know in the comment section below as well. Just say, hey, I want this build for current gen, and I'll try to make that build up for you. Last but not least, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.